Today I wanted to share a super quick and easy way to add RGB split into your footage or animations. So I'll just bring in my footage, just open that up, and here is the animation we just saw as it is without any RGB split, so it's nothing special. A bit of a move in, and what we're going to do is add that RGB split in. So with our footage or our text or pre-comp selected, we're going to go up to our effects and presets and we're going to search for shift channels and we're going to drop that onto our footage. And before we touch the shift channels effect, we're just going to duplicate our footage layer twice. So we have three. And to make things a lot simpler, we're just going to name these red, green, and blue. We then go back to the top, to our red layer, and up to our effects, and we're going to turn off the green and blue channels. So full off in the drop down, leaving just the red. And then on the green, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to turn off red and blue. And then on the blue, turn off red and green. And then on these three layers, we're going to select all of them. We're going to go down to our blending mode and we're going to select screen. Now all those channels are going to combine, leaving us with our original colors, our original look. But if we select one and just move it to the left or the right, you will see that those three channels are actually separate now. So all we need to do is on the position. So if we go to our red layer, the top one, press P for our position and we're just going to add a wiggle expression to this position. So if we hold Alt or Option on the keyboard and click the stopwatch, type in wiggle, open bracket, let's go with 10 comma and 10. The first number being how many times it moves per second and the second number being how much it moves. So if we click off, let's just play to see how much, let's play it from here, just to see how much that's moving. Yeah, that's okay. So now we can simply click on the position, copy, go down to our green, and we can select the position and we can paste. And now as you'll see, if I click this drop down, you'll see the exact same expression is pasted into that position. So if you want to change it, you can, but we're just gonna leave it as it is. And we'll do the same on blue. Click the position and paste. So if I play this now, you will see that those three channels are moving independently, creating this RGB split, which is exactly what we're looking to do. You probably noticed that by adjusting or wiggling our position that our footage is moving and creating the gap in our composition. So we can either just add another solid in beneath whatever color we need, just to fill that gap if we want that to be black or we can delete that we can just take our original footage duplicate that bring it to the bottom turn it off just so that's the original get rid of our position so that's just our normal footage now underneath so whenever the layers above move that is still beneath or we can simply highlight all three, go to our scale and just up the scale slightly just so it doesn't ever come within our composition and create that edge. There we go, that is how we create a super quick and easy RGB split. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.